The second problem the pre-Socratics had was the problem of the relation between things, and this is called the problem of number. We're all familiar with the mathematician Pythagoras, and he was the leader of the Pythagorean cult, which was concerned with the contemplation of mathematics in order to free themselves from bodily concerns. They had many different uh, practices and one of them was vegetarianism. They were afraid to eat beans because they thought there were little people inside them. Mathematics was the means to purify their soul. Now numbers weren't representative of reality. Numbers made the existence of things possible. Reality was comprised of numbers. Ten was especially important because the first four numbers, when added together, form an equilateral triangle. And when that triangle is bisected, well, we have the proof that everyone knows about. This is the Pythagorean theorem of a squared, the small side, plus b squared, the longer side, equaling the hypotenuse, c squared. Pythagoras was also responsible for the development of Western music. Now, he would take a lyre string, and if he divided it in half, he was able to attain the octave. La, la. If he divided it in another particular ratio, he obtained the fourth. La, la. Or the fifth. La, la. And with the fourth, the fifth, and the first or octave in any key, you can compose music. This ratios were translated to the construction of the Parthenon and we see here that there are an even number of columns on the face and an odd number of columns along the side. This was the idea that this temple captured all the possibilities, odd and even numbers. The ratios were very special, and in fact, they were even musical. Another aspect to this theorem is the development of the ionic column. Here you see the geometric progression. When you have the small side of a triangle, here's the small side of this triangle, when it is put against, the hypotenuse is put against the small side of another triangle, and this hypotenuse of this triangle put against the small side of the next biggest triangle, and likewise, this hypotenuse becomes the small side of this triangle, we then get the geometric progression that yields the ionic volute. Pythagoreans thought that the world was a harmonious whole. 